We could solve this equation instantly if we only just had 10 to the power of x at the right side of this equation. In this case, we could say that x equals to 1 and then we could prove that this solution is one and the only one. But we have what we have. It 9 to the power of x. What can we say about this function? Of course, we can say that 9 to the power of x is bigger than 0 in any x. In this case, we can divide both sides of this equation by 9 to the power of x, isn't it? Of course. And then we have 4 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x and it equals to 1. At the left side of this equation we have some of two different terms. Let's look at them attentively. The first term is 4 to the power of x divided by 9 to the power of x. What can we say about these two functions? We can say that 4 equals to 2 squared and 9 equals to 3 squared. That's why we can write the first term like 2 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x and it's all to the power of 2 plus and looking at the second term we see that 6 equals to 3 times 2 and 9 equals to 3 times 3. Then dividing nominator and denominator by 3 to the power of x we get 2 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x and it equals to 1. Very good. What we can see now? If we put 2 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x as t which is bigger than 0. So we can get quadratic equation like 2 squared plus t equals to 1 or 2 squared plus t minus 1 equals to 0. Now we're gonna solve this equation knowing that t is bigger than 0. Discriminant of this quadratic equation equals to 1 plus 4 equals to 5. Well, thanks God it's bigger than 0. And then we realize then t first and second equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And then we have two cases. First case the first t equals to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. It's officially bigger than 0 and it's very good. It suits us very well. But second t equals to minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and it's less than 0. So this is not our solution. And here it is. We have 1 and only 1 t equals to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and it equals to 2 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x and we can write it at the finish then 2 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x equals to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. But left side we can write like 2 divided by 3 to the power of x equals to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and at the end using properties of logarithm we can finally say then x 
equals to logarithm minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 base 2 divided by 3.